Hello, I'm Dr. Kathleen Dooling, a medical officer and shingles disease expert at CDC. I'm here to talk to you about a new, highly protective shingles vaccine called Shingrix. It's more than 90% protective against shingles, even among the elderly. CDC now recommends Shingrix as the preferred shingles vaccine for immunocompetent adults age 50 and older. Today, I'm going to focus on two important aspects of Shingrix recommendations. First, proper vaccine administration, and second, how to counsel patients about possible reactions. CDC recommends two doses of Shingrix, with the second dose given two to six months after the first. The effectiveness of only one dose has not been studied, so to get full protection, patients should complete the two-dose series. Even if a patient previously received Zostavax, CDC recommends that they receive two doses of Shingrix. You should administer Shingrix intramuscularly in the deltoid region of the upper arm. This is very important because if Shingrix is incorrectly administered subcutaneously, the patient is more likely to develop a reaction. Shingrix is supplied as two components, the lyophilized antigen and the adjuvant solution. Both components should be stored in the refrigerator between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius and should be reconstituted prior to use. You should not freeze Shingrix. Once frozen, the vaccine is no longer viable. The vaccine storage and administration of Shingrix is quite different from Zostavax, a live attenuated shingles vaccine that CDC has recommended since 2006. Take care not to confuse these two shingles vaccines. The second point I'd like to discuss today is reactions or possible reactogenicity associated with Shingrix. In clinical trials of more than 30,000 people, Shingrix was not associated with serious adverse events. However, local and systemic reactions were common among those who got Shing vaccination. More than 75% of people who got Shingrix reported at least some pain in the injection site. About 17% of patients who got Shingrix reported grade 3 reactions. In other words, reactions severe enough to prevent normal activities. 1 in 10 reported grade 3 reactions due to pain or injection site redness or swelling of at least 4 inches in diameter. Also, about 1 in 10 people who got Shingrix reported systemic effects that limited activity, such as myalgia, fatigue, headache, shivering, fever, or GI illness. CDC recommends counseling your patients about the possible reactions to the vaccine before administering Shingrix. Advise patients not to engage in strenuous activities for a few days after vaccination. If reactions do occur, you can suggest the patients take over-the-counter ibuprofen or acetaminophen to help relieve pain and inflammation. In clinical trials, a reaction to the first dose did not predict a reaction to the second dose. Therefore, you should encourage patients to complete the two-dose series, even if they experience a reaction to the first dose. Most reactions to Shingrix are self-limited and resolve in two to three days. Report any clinically significant reactions online to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. For more information, you can access the Herpes Zoster Vaccine Recommendations published in the MMWR or visit CDC's Shingles Vaccine website. As a healthcare provider, your recommendations on vaccination have the biggest impact on the choices your patients make. So help protect your patients, 50 and older, against shingles and its complications by strongly recommending shingles vaccination. Thank you.